Well, good evening and welcome to Daily Decaf with Pastor Lisa. It's a time when we grab a cup of decaf together, take a deep breath and release the jitters and anxieties of the day and find comfort in God's word together. This weekend, I was out almost all weekend in the garden planting plants and it was so beautiful and so good to feel the sunshine again. I may have been a little premature in getting some of them in. My basil looks sort of sad <laughs> after the cold night, but that's okay. It was a good weekend. And so my mind is on plants this week, and I thought we would together investigate what the Bible has to say about different plants. Now, we have many pets at our house, and one of them is a pair of sugar gliders. If you don't know what sugar gliders are, they're sort of like a flying squirrel, only smaller. And so to make our sugar gliders happy, we cut a branch off a tree and brought it in and put it in a bin of rocks and so they can climb up it like they would climb a tree. I have been watching this branch over the past few weeks and it is amazing to me. It has started to bud in our animal room. There's no water, there's no nutrients, there's no particular sunlight. It's cut off from the tree and still it is budding up and the buds are getting bigger and bigger each day. It is just miraculous to me to see the power of nature and the power of life. And so thinking of my cut off branch that is still budding up, it made me think of the power of God's creation. So today I want to share with you from Isaiah 61, beginning in verse 11. The scripture reads, For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Today, thinking of my budding branch, I remember with this scripture that there is a certain power that sometimes we don't attribute to these phrases. When it says the garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring up. This is not a passive event. When we look around at spring, it's beautiful, but perhaps we forget all the hard work these plants are going through to produce these beautiful buds and flowers. And the way that nature works is divinely ordered and ordained by the creator of all. We see God's power in each and every bud. I see God's power that cannot be stopped in my animal room. When I look at those buds, I think, despite everything I did to thwart that plant from blossoming, although that wasn't my original intent, its divine design is still coming through. God's power in creation is that urgent, that vibrant. God creates and God creates righteousness and blessings to spring up. So it makes me think as I look around my yard and the buds and the blossoms, the shoots coming through my garden, I've been looking to see what's going to come back after the winter. Each of those I see, I have been trying to name one of God's blessings, one of God's moments of righteousness that is also springing up in the world. This is quite an interesting spiritual practice because, you know, at first when you think of God's blessings, there's a certain list that comes to mind pretty easily, perhaps family, food, shelter, sunlight. But if I think of every bud and every blossom out there as representing God's blessings and righteousness coming to pass in my life, coming to pass in our world, that's a lot of blessings. And so this week, 
As you look at the springing, budding world around you, I invite you to remember two things. One, there is an active nature to God's work in creation and in the world. God is causing these beautiful spring buds to arrive and God is causing righteousness in our world. And after thinking about that, look at the buds, look at the new life and name some blessings, name some righteousness that is happening in your life because God is causing good things for you. And it is important to name them and to thank God for them. May it be so. Amen.